This is how you set up an AppRite MCP server with Cursor in just a few minutes so you can begin interacting with your backend with an AI agent. Before we get started, if you get lost anywhere or there are some major updates that occur here, make sure to check out the official documentation. All the steps that we're going to be following are right here in the docs. This is going to be linked up in the video description. Also, as a prerequisite, you're going to want to make sure you have UV installed. This is a package manager that you're going to need in order to install the AppRite MCP server. If you don't have it, just go ahead and copy and paste this code snippet. I'm on a Mac OS. So so I copied this code right here, put this in your terminal, and this should just go through that default installation process. In this example, I'm going to be using cursor, so we can click on cursor, and here's all the setup instructions that we need. So following these setup instructions, we're going to go ahead and open up cursor here. And within our settings tab, we're going to want to go into cursor settings. And here we're going to see this MCP tab right here. And we're going to want to click on add new global MCP server. So for the name, we're just going to want to add in AppRite. And for the type here, let's just go ahead and leave this as command. Now for the command field, we're going to want to go back into the documentation and I'm going to Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this code right here. Now in this code, we also need to add in our app right key and we want our project ID. So we're going to grab this in a second. So let's just go ahead and bring this back in. We'll paste it and let's go ahead and go into my console now. And inside of the overview tab, I'm going to quickly create a new API key and I'm just going to call this MCP. We won't have an expiration date for now. I'm just going to select everything. So this API key has full access. And once I create this, let's go ahead and copy this API key. And let's just paste this in right here under the API key variable. And then let's go back into our project. And in here we can go into settings and I'm just going to grab this project ID. And we also want to update this as well. So let's go ahead and paste this in. And once that's all updated, go ahead and click add. And once that's all set up, you should see this right here. So this basically says your MCP server is configured. And this is the access that your MCP server has to your app right backend. So by default, if we go into this edit tab right here, we can see what this server has access to. So at this point, it can perform database operations. It can access users. And that's all we have set up for now. But if we ever want to change this, if you go back into the documentation here, these are all the permissions that you can set. So you can actually set this to access teams, storage, functions, messages, or you could just set this to all. So if you ever want to update this, go ahead and go back in here, go to edit. And this is where you can make these updates. Just simply update this section. Now, before you start trying things out, it's a good idea to restart cursor just to make sure everything's properly updated. Otherwise, you might try to work with the AI agent and some things just may not be connected. So go ahead and do that. I've already done that. Now, we're going to go ahead and just test this out. So I'm going to go into my AppRite backend and I have a database called dev here and I have a collection called products and I have some products in here. So let's just see if my agent can tell me what's inside of this collection. So I'm going to say list out all items I have in my products collection within the dev database. So dev is the ID to this database. And let's hit send. And let's just see what this does. So it's going to try to list out my databases. So it's telling me the command it's going to run. So it's going to the database ID of dev and the collection ID of products. So that's good. Looks like it got all the items. We have eight results. And here we go. So we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. And that's correct. So these are all the products in my database. So the first part worked. Now let's try to do something cool and let's try to actually generate a CSV file of these items here. So here we can just say render out all these items as a CSV file. And let's just see if this works. So it's going to create a products.csv file. And it looks like it's generating it. So we'll open that file up once it actually creates it. All right, awesome. So it looks like it created it. And if I open up the sidebar here, I can see products.csv. Here I see the CSV file with a header, name, price, description, image, ID, and all the actual data. So this is pretty neat. I was able to simply export that data. And we can also open up the actual CSV file here. So we'll give this a second. And this should be all the data from my backend. So pretty neat. I'll just zoom in a little bit. And here we go. That's how you interact with an AppRite MCP server and how you connect it using cursor.